What's up, guys? Hopefully, all of you are doing well. For today's Super Bowl recipe, we're going to be making a warm crab artichoke and bacon dip. This is one of Cheesecake Factory's most popular appetizers, but of course, we're going to be doing it my way. Let's get into it. We're going to start this recipe off by cooking about three to four slices of nice, thick cut bacon. For the exact measurements to this recipe, check out gdseasoning.com. The recipe link will be below in the description. After we're done chopping up the bacon, we're going to set that aside and I have a half a cup of seafood stock and a half a cup of half and half. Next, I'm just going to chop up my artichoke hearts, which have been thawed or at the very least partially thawed so that you can cut through them because we just want to chop them up in nice sized chunks. I can tell you guys right now that this version has way more crab and way more artichokes than the version that we buy out at the restaurant. In a large bowl, we're going to combine the cream cheese, some mayonnaise, and some sour cream along with the half and half and seafood stock right into a large bowl and we're going to blend it with a hand mixer, but actually you guys can go ahead and use a blender if you want to. It's less mess. Some more changes that I made to this recipe, not only did I add more crab and more artichoke, but instead of using heavy cream, I used half and half and I used less of that and added the seafood stock, which is really going to push that seafood flavor and it's going to pair with that crab really well. So you're going to get a bigger seafood taste out of this dip. Now instead of just adding the chopped artichoke hearts to the wet mixture, which is normally done, we're going to saute them in about one to two tablespoons of the rendered bacon fat. You do not need a lot of the bacon fat for this. That's why I'm tilting the pan. You only need a little. You can see my pan is relatively dry. It's just enough fat to coat the artichokes. And then we're going to add some onions and a clove of garlic. I sauteed the onion around in the pan for about three minutes just until they were soft, but I did dice them really small. Then I added the garlic and sauteed that for about 30 seconds to a minute because I didn't want it to burn. After the garlic is sauteed, go ahead and kill the heat. We don't need it on to do the rest of the recipe. The pan is warm enough. Okay, now all we're going to do is take the wet ingredients and add them right to the pan. And we're going to give everything a good mix. Now, of course, your mixture doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. It's going to smooth out because now you're putting it in the warm pan and it's just going to gently meld together. Don't you hate when you find out the true ingredients to some of your restaurant favorites and you find out just how rich they are? Does it hurt a little bit? Does it make you eat a little less? I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. <laughs> now we're just going to go in with our seasonings. I have some GDS, my house seasoning, some black pepper, cayenne pepper, and a little bit of smoked paprika. We're going to add the salt at the very end. I'm going to go ahead and add my chopped bacon and my breadcrumbs. And I'm using panko breadcrumbs. You can use regular breadcrumbs if you have them. Now we're going to fold in our crab. I'm using eight ounces of a super lump crab meat. You can use eight ounces of whatever your favorite crab meat is. Once you get it folded in, you want to stop and taste it. Season it with salt to your taste. Remember, we brought other items to the dip that had sodium, the bacon, the seafood stock, and the crab itself. So you want to be careful and make sure you don't over salt the dip. I just chose to add maybe like a fourth of a teaspoon, maybe a little more, but that's all I needed. Now you can bake this one or two ways. You can bake it directly in the pan that you cooked it in on top of the stove, or you can switch it out to a baking dish. Either way will work. It just depends on how you want to present it. When I was making the recipe, I was sure to hold back a couple of tablespoons of the bacon, artichoke, and crab just for garnish so it can be nice and pretty when you present it. We're going to bake it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for only about 20 minutes. Now all you have to do is decide what you want to serve with your crab and artichoke dip. This is some garlic naan bread that I get from Trader Joe's out of the freezer section. It's already prepared. It is delicious. And right out of the freezer, I just wrap it in some foil and I throw it right in the oven. And it's ready in about 10 or 15 minutes. It goes fantastic with this dip. You can grill bread. You can use pita chips. You can use whatever you want, but just make sure whatever you use is nice and sturdy and it's going to hold the weight of this crab dip. As soon as it comes out of the oven while it's still popping hot, go ahead and hit it with some fresh parsley and then just serve it up. It's really easy and I'm telling you it's creamy and really meaty. We put lots of crab in here, lots of artichoke. The smokiness from the smoked paprika and the bacon and of course it's going to be perfectly salted to your very own taste. It's going to brown slightly on the top due to the fact that we have that paprika and some cayenne in there so don't be afraid of that. It's still good. <laughs> This recipe makes just short of four cups, and if you're wondering, you can also double it if you got a bigger crowd. 
Thank you guys so much for coming and cooking with me. You know I appreciate it when you come and hang out. Don't forget this recipe and others can be found at gdseasoning.com. And I'll see you guys next time.